There we go. All done. Thank you so much, Cindy. How was the ice cream? Yummy, as always. <laughs> so is there anything else I can do? We've already agreed that you can't leave it all to Gerald. You can't tell me that Libby Jeffries likes to get her hands dirty. Not exactly. Gerald's the tidy bag, but he's doing all these extra shifts now. So you'll be alone a lot. I don't mind that. Even so. I mean, it must be times like this that you really miss your mum, I guess. I miss her all the time, actually. I mean, obviously, it's easier now, much, but there's always this little hole. I wonder what she'd think if she could see you now. She'd probably be fussing over you night and day. She wasn't really the fussing type. She always encouraged me to be independent. Are you all right? <sighs> My feet are so swollen. No one ever mentions that you won't fit your shoes anymore. Here, let me help. What are you doing? Every pregnant woman needs a good foot massage. Oh no, Cindy, Cindy, this is too much. Wow, they are quite swollen, aren't they? Oh, Morgan, please don't be so edgy around me. I know I've been a bit over the top at times, but it's taken some adjusting. And now I just want to show you how sorry I am and to let you know that I'm here for you, no matter what. Really? The last thing I want is to lose you as a friend. I don't want that either. I'm glad. I'm on your side, hun. Never forget that. I'm so tired, but I find it so hard to sleep during the day. What about a book? Well, TV, I've got a small one I could go and get. Well, Libby has one in her room, but it's so decadent. Watching TV in bed in the middle of the day. Might as well make the most of it while you can. First ice cream, now daytime TV. You are so bad. I won't tell anyone if you don't. <laughs> Kia ora, Shorten Street. Hi, Gerald. Hey, how are you doing? Having the best day ever. Lazing around? Being waited on by Cindy. Cindy? Don't panic. She's been completely lovely. She's bringing the TV into our room. What? Well, are you sure it's a good idea for you to be alone with her? We had a fantastic talk today. It's been like old times at nursing school. Yeah, but... Please don't ruin it for me. I've missed her friendship and she feels the same. We've taken some huge steps today. Well, I suppose if your instinct is telling you... It's telling me that I have my friend back. So don't you worry about a thing. Well, I'll try. But remember, I'm only a phone call away. Love you. You too. Cindy is over at our place looking after Morgan. Cindy? Psycho Cindy? Oh, she's not psycho, Libby. Gerald, there are unborn babies involved. And as I've seen in my own family, that can make normally sane women go completely unhinged. I wouldn't trust her for a second. Oh, come off it. What's she going to do? There have been cases in the States where mad wannabe mothers have cut unborn babies from pregnant women and stolen them. No, no. no you're just being silly. No, I'm not saying that's going to happen. It's no, just... Cindy is a normal person. She's one of Morgan's oldest friends, and, and did you see the wedding present they got us? So? So, this isn't some weird inbred far-flung state in the US. This is Ferndale, and Morgan will be fine. Hmm. Thank you so much. I'll be the size of a house if you keep this up. In fact, I already am the size of a house. <laughs> and you're only going to get bigger. Now, is there anything else I can get you before I go home? No, thanks. You've done heaps already. I've really enjoyed it. Me too. I can come back tomorrow after my shift if you like. Well, there must be other things you'd rather be doing. No. Well, then I know this has been really difficult for everyone involved, but I can see now the lengths you've gone to for these children. You're completely devoted. Your focus has been 100% on these babies. And I think that we, Trent and I, kind of lost sight of the fact that they're the most important thing. We started thinking of ourselves. It's okay. It's been a roller coaster. You don't have to explain. No, please. I want you to know that I am behind your decision. I accept it and though I desperately want to be a part of these babies' lives. I'm willing to do it on your terms. Meet beautiful newlywed Morgan, pregnant with not one, not two, but three babies. But she didn't despair. She took advantage of our special offer for special brides-to-be. Expecting twins? will give you 20% off any ready-made maternity bridal wear. Triplets take a whopping 30% off. How much did you get paid for that? I didn't. So all you got was a discount on the dress? Cindy, I, I, I had no idea that they were going to do it. Here I have been saying how selfless you are and you've been letting me sit here and say it and the whole time you, 
You sold your pregnancy. You sold my babies. You paraded them in a TV ad. What kind of sick person are you, Morgan? Cindy, please don't hurt me. What? You think I'd... Morgan! I would never hurt you or the babies. Never. How could you imagine that? What's going on? Are you okay? I'm fine. You look upset. What's she been saying? It's okay. It's a misunderstanding. Typical Morgan. Too nice for your own good. You can leave now, Cindy. Morgan needs rest, not aggravation. This is none of your business. You have no idea what's been happening. Well, I know who the pregnant lady is, and that's not you. And I know what's good for her, so bye-bye. So she went from massaging you to threatening you in the space of 60 seconds. Wow, Cindy can be so stable like that. She wasn't threatening. Not really. You said she scared you. She was angry. I can see why. The ad threw her. It threw me. Well, I'm not surprised. Those scumbags never said anything about TV. We didn't read the small print. Well, you shouldn't have to. If you can't trust a wedding dress supplier, who can you trust? I still feel so awful. Oh, uh, I have to meet Chris. I was going to say, you two seem so good together. When you're at our wedding, I mean... I, I like Kieran. And... Oh, but, yeah, I know. I've made the right choice. Anyway, um, I'm going to call Gerald and get his butt down here. No, 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 I'll be fine. What if that she-beast comes back again? <laughs> she won't. And even if she did, I don't think she'd lose it like that again. Oh, Morgan, you were too good-natured for your own good. I've got two words for you. Restraining, order. Think about it. Shanti, do you know when Miss Howe's having her endoscopy? Oh, thank you for reminding me. I meant to check up on that. Are you all right, Cindy? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I'll go find out when that appointment is. Thanks. You're not okay, are you? What's happened? It's Morgan. Have you seen that ad on TV with her advertising wedding dresses? No. You're joking. She used her pregnancy, my babies, to get a free frock. It's just... It's tacky. Not to mention insensitive. But she can do whatever she wants, though, can't she? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I think. Well, it should. You're the real mother, not her. But I'm powerless. At least until the court case comes up. I'm just glad Trent's back in your corner. You're not going through all this on your own. No. He's great. I don't know what I'd do without him. Your time will come. You'll get your children back. You see. I'm trying. Trent. What are you doing here? Well, I brought something around for Morgan, but if now's not a good time. It's fine. Come in. Look at you. You get bigger every time I see you. Yeah, that's generally what happens when you're carrying triplets. <sighs> it's amazing. You look amazing. Thank you. Oh, this is for you. It's a back roll to ease any pain when you're sitting. And I bet you're doing a lot of that. A back roll is an olive branch. How novel. Thank you, Trent. It's so thoughtful of both of you. Yeah, well, we figured, you know, you could do with something like that. How is Cindy today? Good as gold. Really? Would you like a cup of tea? Only if it's not a bother. I'll just go to the loo and then I'll make us one. Oh, no, I, I can do it. Sure, I wasn't sure if you guys would be home. I thought you both might be at work already. Morgan's taken early maternity leave. Didn't Cindy tell you? Oh, she did. That's right. It's only half listening. So how are you guys getting on? Great, yeah. Did she tell you about yesterday? Or when she came around here? Oh, that. Mm. Actually, I'd better shoot off. I'll tell Morgan to enjoy the back roll. Will do.